Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to do a problem from end of chapter five. That is the chapter on uh, joint random variables. So what we have in this problem, it asks if the following function can be the joint CDF of random variables X and Y. So as we can see here, we do have a CDF of X and Y as shown here. And um, how can we proceed this problem? We can go ahead first and find the CDF of X and Y. So in theorem 5.1 of the book, we do have the CDF of X. If we want to find the CDF of X with respect to, um, I mean, from the, CDF, the joint CDF of X and Y, we can find it through the CDF of X and Y when X when we have the x and y is infinity and the other uh, way around for y. So f y of y, the CDF of y will be <clears throat> the joint CDF of x and y when x goes to infinity. So from here, I can find the CDF of x and y. So what we have to do is that exactly following the theorem. So CDF of x, that is fx of x. We said that it is the CDF of X and Y when Y is infinity. So it will be 1 minus E to the negative X plus infinity. Okay, and this will be equal to 0. So this is for when X is positive and Y is positive. So this is only when X is positive, right? Because here we only have FX of X and 0 otherwise. Now for finding the CDF of Y, we're going to do the same thing, only this time y should go to infinity. So CDF of y, that is fy of y, is equal to, again, 1 minus e to the negative. This time x is infinity, and we do have the y. So this part will be 0, and we're going to have 0 for y greater than or equal to 0 and otherwise. So this is equal to 1 and this is also equal to 1. So we do have the CDF of X and CDF of Y, and we do have the joint CDF of X and Y. So let's write what is the definition of CDF itself. We know that FX of X, that is the CDF of X, is equal to probability of random variable X less than or equal to some value, right? I can write this as 1 minus probability of X greater than X, right? So the same thing, uh, the, so we do have the probability of x greater than some x, right? And the probability of x less than or equal to x is also equal to uh, 1 because it is the CDF of x. So from this equation, I can have the probability of x greater than x is equal to 1 minus probability of x less than or equal to some x. So from here... I know that uh, this probability is equal to 1, so I'm going to have 1 minus 1, and that will be equal to 0. And we do have the same thing for random variable y. So fy of y is equal to probability of y less than or equal to some value y, and that is equal to 1 minus probability of y greater than y. So from here, I can say probability of random variable y greater than some value y is equal to 1 minus probability of y less than or equal to y, and that is 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay? Now, let's go through some theorems that we know about the probability. So we know that if I have the probability of A union B, this is going to be equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersect B. And probability of A intersect B is a greater than or equal value to zero, right? So from here, I can conclude that probability of A union B is less than or equal to probability of A plus probability of B. Right? So I'm going to do, I'm going to use this actually theorem for um, the probabilities that I have. So I'm going to say that probability of, or probability of x greater than x union 
y greater than y. So here we see that technically this is my event A and this will be my event B, right? So if I use the above theorem for that, that is always should be less than or equal to probability of x greater than or equal to x or x greater than x plus probability of y greater than y, right? So from here, first thing is that we conclude that this was equal to zero and this was equal to zero. So from here, we, can, we are saying that probability of x greater than x union y greater than y is some number less than or equal to zero. So let's see if that works. So here I'm going to name this or number this as one. I can say, however, the probability of x greater than x union y greater than y will be equal to 1 minus probability of x less than or equal to x and y less than or equal to y. So you may be con confused this part of the um, problem and you may be asking why do we have this over here? So what is this? Why this is equal to probability of x greater than x union y greater than y. So let's see if we can prove that, not, not proving, let's see if we can show that um, graphically. All right, so let's say that I do have my x and y. So this is my y. This is my x. And let's say that this is my universal set. Okay. Now, we are saying that probability of x greater than x. So let's say that this is some x that I was looking for. So x greater than x will be this part, the red part. And probability of y greater than um, some value of y, let's say that this is that value of y that I have. So then I can say this will be the part that y is greater than or equal to y, right? Now, the part that is left, I'm going to color that with a purple. So this purple part is the part that is left and we have. So what is this? What is this purple part? If you look at this purple part, it is showing us the probability of x less than or equal to some x intersect with probability of y or let me write them as events first. So this is the event x less than or equal to x intersect with the event y less than or equal to some y. Is that right? So we see that x less than or equal to x is here and y less than or equal to some y is going to be here. So their intersection will be the purple part, right? So if I take this intersection out from 1, which is the probability of my universal set, so I'm going to write 1 minus probability of x less than or equal to x intersect y less than or equal to y. And this is clearly equal to the union of the green and the red part, right? So it will be probability of x greater than x union y greater than y. We know that if we add the probabilities inside the universal set, they have to add up to 1, right? So here you can see that probability of x greater than x union y greater than y, 
that is the union of the red and the green part of this um, graph plus the purple part that is probability of x less than or equal to x intersect y less than or equal to y that would be equal to 1 right so now we saw that this is true so let me write here that this part is the union actually the event is the union of green and red and this part is the purple part of the graph. And when I'm adding them together, I'm going to get the universal set, the probability of the universal set that is equal to 1. All right, so we saw that that equation, um, let's say equation number 2, is true. Okay, so now I'm going to rewrite equation number 2 <clears throat> and try to find the value of that with respect to the information that I had in my um, problem. So we said that the probability of x being greater than some value x union y greater than some value y this is equal to 1 minus probability of x less than or equal to x and y less than or equal to y. So what is this probability? This is technically showing me the CDF, the joint CDF of X and Y, right? What is the joint CDF of X and Y? We have it as 1 minus E to the negative X plus Y. So I'm going to substitute that here. So that would be 1 minus 1 minus E to the negative X plus Y. And that would be e to the negative x plus y. So if I name this 3, and if I go up, so 3 is not the same. It doesn't have the same conditions as y. Why? Because in number 1, the equation number 1, we are saying that this probability of this union is less than or equal to 0, right? But here we are saying that probability of this union is e to the negative x plus y. So these are not equal. So then we can say that no, the above CDF can be the joint CDF of random variables x and y. Of random variables x and y all right so i hope you understood this problem and if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments down below and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching